You wonder what's the best way to reload the film on your WolfTech wrapper? In this video, I will explain how to change the film roll, but I will also share some tips on how to expand the lifetime of your film plan. So stay tuned for this WolfTech tip of the day in collaboration with Support Pro. Bonjour, my name is Jean-Luc and I'm a programmer here at WolfTech. So let me begin by suggesting to use the uh, film loading position button on the HMI so the carriage would move to a much more comfortable position to change the film roll. So once the carriage is in position, remove the empty film roll and reinsert a brand new film roll on the mandrel. Once this is done, press the gate latch release button to open the carriage gate. Since this carriage is a no-tread, you can actually just pull through with your film, just like this. Pull enough length to reach the clamp, and you can just easily open the clamp with one end and just insert the film in the jaw, just like this. I'm going to ensure that I have a clean web into the carriage, and then I'll just gently push and allow the pre-stretch roller to push the film into the uh, in between the rollers in fact so you can confirm that the carriage gate is properly shut by looking at the proximity sensor and there's a hole in the cover just for that purpose so you can monitor if the proximity sensor is detecting the trigger on the gate itself once this is done that's good to go. Film on the clamp, that's it. Okay, here's the tip on how to expand the lifespan of your clamp. It's in fact just how you will actually insert the film in the clamp. So too often, we're gonna see operator making a, a good solid rope like that and push it down into the clamp jaw. This is what you need to avoid. So pushing down like this will actually create uh, friction on the inserts and that's where you're gonna get a lot of wear and tear over time so do not push down like that what you want to see is a nice clean open web and you just open a jaw and leave it in between just like this that's the way to go I will also show you into the image what's the result of a bad use so I'll get a close-up on these jaw so these jaw are the one that uh, have been uh, abused by operators before so that's it for today's tip of the day if you have question or if you need information about your WolfTech system please don't hesitate to contact us here at WolfTech and our customer service team will gladly assist Thanks for watching and have a great day.